Okay guys, so for today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna be going over the all the kits that we have available for the Dust Charger. Um, we get quite a few questions in regards to fitment, what kind of wheels would you need if you're gonna need to kit, uh, cut. So we're gonna be covering all those questions in this particular video. I hope you guys enjoy, so let's start. So let's start from, from, from the beginning. Um, the most common question would be from uh, coming from uh, in regard it will be in regards to fitment. So to start off, when it comes to 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 fitment, we have right over here we have the SXT dust charger, and right over here we have the RT that that also. Could be also be the GT for newer years, and the 392 and Hellcat narrow bodies. Now, both the SXT right over here and the RT, SRT or 392 are compatible with their with their wide body kits, which you can see right over here. BC10. $21.99 um, and right over here we have the BC 102117 if you're getting both the rear bumper front bumper fender flares rocker panels and front lip uh, now if you only need the uh, fenders the part number for that is BC 102126 once again part number is BC 102126 and the fenders would come with this, 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 and that. Now, if you need, um, if you want to go with uh, the whole look, if you already have, if you already have the either the 392, the SRT, or the Scat Pack, you will not need to upgrade your bumper. Only if you have the SXT that we have right over there, then you will need the 2117. And the 2117 comes with the front bumper right over here, the rear bumper, the fenders, rocket panels, and the front lip. Now, if you already have the 392, the Scat Pack, or the Hellcat narrow body, you would only need the fenders, um, rocket panel, and front lip. Or if you only just want the fenders, the part number for that will be BC102126, which, which you can see right over here. And, and we have also quite a few combinations. We have the, the, the BC102191, and that comes with a fender's rocket panel. Now, if you want the fender's rocket panel and lip, the part number for that is BC102192. If you want the whole complete kit, that would that would come with a rear bumper, fenders, rocket panel, and front lip, and the upper number is BC102117. And right over here, the BC102199, it comes uh, pretty much with everything, it comes with front, rear, rocket panels, and fenders. Now, what's the difference between the BC102199 and the BC102117? Fairly simple. This one uh, pretty much replicates the, the OEM uh, spe specs from, from the white body. Um, which you can see here, we have the front bumper, the fenders. The, f the front bumper comes with, a, with the fenders mold molded in, in, into the bumper. Same as the OEM. Um, and uh, the other one, which is the BC102117, does not. And this, we made this particular kit, uh, especially for the people that didn't want to upgrade their bumper. They just wanted to keep the same look, but still go with a with a more aggressive uh, uh, look. So we went and, and just did, we added the fenders, the rocket panel, and the front lip. And once again, the, the part number for this one is BC102117. And that comes with, once again, rear bumper, front bumper, fenders, rocket panel, and front lip. If you already have the front bumper and the rear bumper and you only just want to upgrade and go wide, 
you would only need a BC102126. And that just comes with the fenders. And BC102191 comes fenders, rocket panel. BC102192, that will be fenders, rocket panel, and front lip. And once again, guys, everything you see, it's available at Vickers.com, uh, including the rear diffuser, that you can see right over here. And part number for this bad boy is BC102189. So let's, let's, let's go ahead and address a few of the questions that we've gotten over the couple of months from our customers in regards to white body. Right over, to start off, we have what kind of spaces would I need to make the, the, the wheels to stick out a little bit more. Okay, so if, if you decide to go with spacers, you're gonna need um, two inch spacers. And then that pretty much applies to, to, to any, any trim. Now, if you, we highly recommend going with the wheels instead of the spaces, uh, just, just mainly because the spacers tend to wear off over time. Now, when it comes to the wheels, we, we have available, uh, this particular one is it's a, it's a three-piece forged wheels. And you are gonna need a negative 2.5 offset. And the, we're running right over here, um, 20 by 11s in the back and 10 I'm sorry, 20 by 10s in the front. And these are the ones, the, once again, three piece wheels. And we have multiple, multiple different styles available for the wheels. Let me see if I can go a little bit over here. The ones in black, those are, are, are the same specs as the OEM. And these are, we have them available in 20 by 10s with a negative 2.5 uh, offset and 10 by 11s as well. So if you wanna go with a unique look, the part number for this one is BCN111406. Once again, BCN111406. Right over here, we have the BCN2593. Once again, BCN102593. Right over here, we have the BCN 10792. And right over here, we have the BCN 10791. Once again, BCN 10791. And over here, we have our uh, forge wheels. And we, these are just a few samples that we have available. And they're fully, fully customizable. Even you can even customize the, the color of the bolts, the inner lip, pretty much everything. And once again, all, all the products displayed will be linked in the description below if you guys have any, any questions. So let me move on on, the, on to the next question. And right over here, okay, if you guys, for those asking if you run uh, wider wheels, spacers, you will need to cut? Um, not necessarily. Cutting only applies if you have either the 392 Scat Pack or the Hellcat, mainly because the, those sit a little bit lower than the base model, such as the SXT or the GT. So. The wheel gap on the SXT is, is definitely, definitely way, way, way more than your standard Hellcat or 392. So on the SXT, you will not need to call your fenders. You will not need to call. Now, if you're running a 392 or Hellcat, you most definitely will need to, to, to call your fenders or 
or run smaller wheels and 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 with the lower profile tires then you, you'll be able you, you will you'll be able to get away with not cutting your your, your fenders um, and once again SXT or GT any base models and then also applies to the challengers they the their height the stock height sits higher which means you will not need to cut your fenders you will not need to call your fenders. Now, next question, is it always recommended to cut the cars uh, for the cars for the 32? Yes, it's recommended. Um, but once again, you don't have to if you run smaller um, smaller uh, wheels with a lower profile tires. Somebody says, I'm literally getting this uh, for, from my tone and uh, I'm wondering, can I run spaces with my stock wheels? Also wanna, yes, you can. And that's a uh, question number three from one of our customers. So, uh, yes, you can run spacers, and once again, the spacers uh, will be two inches. If you cut the fenders, how will the fenders clip in? So the the kits come with um, with with small clips that go that attach onto the fenders, and uh, which so supports the fenders. And uh, and at the bit installation, we we go in depth in regards to the, the the whole process. Next question. Uh, can you guys do a show, uh, be a showcasing the installation on lower cars? Most definitely. Um, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, we'll have a video in, uh, that goes in, in depth in regards to the installation on on lower uh, cars, such as the 392 Hellcat one. And I'm thinking about purchasing this kit. That's question number six. I'm thinking about purchasing this kit, but I have so many questions. What? What do, you, what, about, what do you do with the stock lights, with the stock fog lights? You, unfortunately, this particular kit does not have the support for the fog lights, so you would have, you would have to remove them. Unless, unless you make a customization or like a hole you know, and add like a small brackets to support the fog lights, you would, you would need to remove them. But like, once again, if, if, with custom work, you'll be able to, to get away with it. Next question, the fenders are cut and the brackets are not to say to have much other piece. If the fenders are cut, how are the other brackets? So the, the brackets will go onto the on the onto the fenders, the brackets. Once you cut once you cut the, the, the fenders, then you will apply the brackets onto the onto the, the area and then you attach the, the, the fenders. Once again we'll, we'll, we'll do we'll be releasing a, a video soon in regards to the whole the whole process. I'm getting uh, a 2013 RT charger and I've seen this white body on all gens and it looks very, very good. Thinking about white body net. That's for number seven, question number seven from one of our customers. Yes, um, the, the charger white body, especially in the, from 2011 and 2014, we've seen our kit. We've seen our kit installed onto it. This particular kit, I've seen multiple customers with this particular kit onto the all gen chargers. And yeah, it looks pretty, it looks pretty, pretty sick. But of course, custom work will be re required, especially for this particular area that you see right here. So or this, everything fits perfectly, except for this sticks a little bit more, more down. So you would have to maybe cut about maybe two to two inches. And then, I mean, once again, if you have the experience and you feel comfortable enough with doing such a custom work, then you'll be able to get away with it. Next question we have. What drill size was used to cut the holes for the parking sensors? And he's referring to these particular sensors. So the bumpers come with pre, uh, it comes with indentations in the back where the holes will need to be drilled in in order to, to install your sensors, your parking sensors. And if I'm not mistaken, it's about an inch and a half. And if I, if I, uh, about an inch and a half. Once you cut it out, for our installation, we use the V-Cursor Parkit, which is a uh, it's a bonding plastic uh, material. And yeah, they, they'll literally create a permanent bond between the, the, both surfaces. Next question, do you happen to know, do you happen to know if you ever tried putting this kit on a Chrysler 300? Yeah, once again, we, we've seen the work done. Um, of course, we, we highly recommend, uh, uh, I mean, taking it to a shop with, with bodywork experience 
and if you know what you're doing, then you should be able to, to get away with it. And the, the reason I want to showcase uh, the narrow bodies here is just so you guys have a better understanding of the of which trims fit or, or, or white bodies. Once again, this is the, SX, the base model, the SXT or the GT. Right here we have, a, the, I mean, could either be a 392 Scat Pack or Hellcat. And both, both of them, from years 2015 and up, will we'll, we'll work with or both white body kits, okay? Do the parts come painted or we'll have to get them painted? Yeah, the, the parts come unpainted. Um, yes, you will need to, to paint, it them, paint them in order to, to prior to doing any installations. Once again, guys, we recommend taking it to shop with, with custom work experience. Um, or if you feel comfortable enough to, the, to do a DIY project, then, then yeah, you should be able to, 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 to get them installed fairly, fairly simple. Once again, they come unpainted. Um, yeah. Uh, next question. What spaces do you use on the 20... 20 by 9.5, 9.5. So you will need a half half an inch. So so the question the customer is asking what what size spaces do you use for a, for the wheel 20 times 9.5? You need a half an inch spacers. Uh, two two two. Next questions. What rims? What rims can I fit my my white body? Okay, I think we talked talked about it, but I will go ahead and touch. Basis. Once again, all these wheels with the exact specs for your white body, they're available at Vickers.com. And these are the styles we have available. I think I might be missing one more, if I'm not mistaken. Those are These are the wheels that we have available for your white body. And of course, there are three piece wheels which are custom made. And we have this like These are just a few of our examples that we have. Here's another one too. This is also three-piece wheels. Let's see if I can get a better angle here. Yeah. And once again, uh, you would need a negative two point negative two point five uh, offset. And for both wheels, right over here and here, we have a uh, twenty by ten in the front and twenty by eleven in the back with a negative 2.5 offset. And let me just give you a little breakdown. I think we're done. Okay, no, no, there's a few more questions. Do, does it feel like OEM? Yes, it does. If you know if you know what you're doing, of course, with the, the proper installation, you, yeah, you, you, you'll be fine. Uh, do you have part outs or replacement pieces available? Yes, we do. We, we, we have them, we have part, part out replacements for, for all of our kits and they're gonna be linked down in the description below if you guys are interested. Uh, to, to, will this fit other models? Yes, yes it will fit the old gen models with custom work. Um, and yeah I, I, I think that's I think I addressed most of the questions for the most part. Once again guys thank you guys for watching if you guys if you guys like this type of uh, video Please let us know in the comment down below. But um, let me let me just touch a few more things before before I let you guys go. So once again, we have everything available uh, at Vickers.com, including the hood. This particular hood is the red eyed star, and also available in carbon fiber is the BCN 102506. And front splitter for the white body is BC102099. The wheels. It's going to be linked in the description down below. I'm not remember the part, the, the part number, sorry about that. And the rear diffuser, BC102189. What else do we have up here? Oh, the, the weaker bill, BC102309. BC102309. And the hood is a Hellcat hood, BC101849. BC101849. What else do we have? Two, two, two. I think I think we're done for the most part. Yeah, we also have this wicker bill. It's for the three-piece spoiler. We have also the wheels available. 
the, narrow, the Hellcat narrow body wheels of bevels as well. Part number for the front spear for this one is BC10691. Size pleated BC10692. We also have the size pleated as well for the wide body. Everything's gonna be that. Uh, all the links for each particular product are gonna be and down in the description down below. And once again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this type of content. We just wanted to give you a little more inside information in regards to the, the products that we offer. And yeah, uh, if you have any additional questions, please, please feel free to let us know. And I guess we'll see you guys next time.